Hello everyone, hope you're having a great weekend and I come to you today to uh, introduce you to a new project and to talk to you about kind of the future of what's going on with uh, me. And um, to start off with, I want to thank you again for coming. Make sure and like, subscribe, and I want to let you know that anything that I provide you on here is not financial advice. It's for education only. Um, you should always do your own due diligence and research every project that I talk about and any investment that you should ever make. So um, what I am going to get into a little bit is I've actually applied for the Occam Phi Ambassador Program, which um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. But the reason being I, that I did that is I really believe in the project and I've gotten closer and closer to uh, things that are going on there and spending time in that area. So I will talk to you more about that. But uh, what this ambassadorship entails is that I'm planning on bringing to you every week and either an update on what's going on with Occam. Um, it could highlight um, different Occam updates to their system and tools or to be uh, discussing and reviewing any IDOs that may be launching on their platform. And um, you know that when I provide a review on a project, I'm going to be very honest and tell you about what I like and don't like about it because I believe that every conversation that you have should address both sides and that's the only way that you create an even better project. There will be no butt kissing. It's just about here's the projects that are out there. So if there's a project that doesn't interest me as much, I may not cover it. But if I get, you know, people like you that say, hey, Mark, can you cover this IDO that's launching on there? I'll do it. But um, again, I'm going to stick to what I like and what I'm interested in. And then, of course, supporting Occam Phi. So, um, some weeks we may do some interviews with teams if they're available. I'll try to do my best to do that and answer any questions that you may have. Um, I will never shill any of the coins on here. So like I said, those that are watching my videos, I will speak my mind and tell you the pros and cons of each. So trying to keep this one short. So uh, let's uh, get into a little bit about Occam Phi and address what they are, what they do, uh, where you can get it, and some of the benefits of owning their OCC coins. As you can see, I'm on the Occam 5 website right now, which is just OCCAM.FI. Their coin is OCC, and what they are is a DeFi solution for the Cardano chain, where they're a launch pad. There will be projects launching um, on here. I think we've got four in the next month, and we've had four already. So they're really, really kind of uh, gearing up to launch a lot of great projects, the biggest one being, in my opinion, Card Wallet which had a successful launch and has done really well so far, but there's others that maybe not have done quite as well. You know, you're not, we haven't seen the 50 and 100 times um, what I consider manipulated projects that are gonna be pump and dumps. Um, there was one that launched last week, and I'll get into more details about ideas as we go, but one that launched um, that had a very unique aspect to it called Reflection, which basically helped in keeping the bots from doing a pump and dump. So the way it worked was it started out at 0.4 cents um, and there would be a reflection of 25%, kind of like a fee or a tax on every cell of their coin. And that 25% would go back to providing liquidity for the coin, but then also a portion of that percentage would go back to the holders everybody that holds, that holds that coin. Unfortunately, I didn't pull my coins that I'd gotten from that IDO out quick enough. I didn't claim them. So I missed out on a lot of free coins on that reflection when people sold. Um, their reflection stays in place at 25% until I believe it's four cents. So until it gets 10 times the ICO val or IDO value that you paid for it. Um, so that, that's kind of nice and encourages holding, but then also rewards you for holding as well. Um, I'll get into more of the IDOs down the line, you know, with, in more videos, but I just really want to kind of stick to Occam Phi on this one. So, um, not only are they going to be a platform for IDOs and DeFi, but they also have other things that they're working on. The bridge, which you'll see here on the site, it's kind of behind my head here is very interesting because they are a Cardano based project that currently build on Ethereum. So as smart contracts come out, you'll be seeing them switch over, which I think is going to be a big, big thing for any Cardano project. 
Um, I, I think, as you've seen with Cardano, anybody that owns it at all, the price has just risen tremendously over the past couple months, namely because they will be implementing start smart contracts. I believe that September 12th, if I remember correctly, is the date on that. And part of what that's going to be able to do is allow projects to move from Ethereum over to Cardano. And I don't know if that part of it's going to be available right away, but the smart contracts will on September 12th. Um, and why is that a big deal? Well, the, anybody that is using the Ethereum ecosystem, you obviously know about gas fees and how expensive it is. I mean, I, I know just from claiming my tokens this last week on um, Legity that, um, sorry, I was telling you about Card Wallet earlier, but um, Legity is the one with the reflection that, that I was discussing. Um, claiming their tokens this last week for their IDO, it ended up costing me, I believe it was $70 just to claim those tokens because Ethereum is so expensive on gas fees. Um, Cardano will solve that and make it more efficient and uh, cheaper. So if you have a favorite project that is on Ethereum, hopefully they'll move to Cardano and actually some, save you some funds. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. I think you're going to see a lot of projects that are going to jump from Ethereum to Cardano. I think you'll see the same thing with some other projects like uh, Polkadot, um, Solana, when those things are offered. But Cardano obviously going to be the big one where that's going to happen. Um, so they have a few different things on here that I'm going to introduce you to. But the first thing I want to give you an idea is how to buy. Um, once you're on their website, you can see buy OCC and you can see Uniswap and some of the other options up here. Um, I chose to buy mine through Uniswap and um, not any particular reason. That's just where I chose. Um, the thing I like about it is, you know, you're going to connect through MetaMask and I'll show you guys MetaMask. Let's see if I can click on it here. So your MetaMask is going to have things in here. And like, as you can see, my account that I'm connected to only has $30 left in it. But um, I use Coin, Coinbase Wallet. So you may be thinking, well, how do you connect Coinbase to it? Well, there's two different Coinbase apps. One is a regular Coinbase app uh, where you would probably go and buy your coins directly from Coinbase. Coinbase Wallet is another wallet. And I, I like it because I can connect it directly to MetaMask. You'll use your security seed. You'll enter that into MetaMask and import the account in there so that I make all my transactions through MetaMask, but it actually happens through my Coinbase wallet. So um, this is an account that's connected to Coinbase wallet, and I'll show you some features on that here in a little bit. If you've got some questions on that, reach out to me and I'll try to help you as much as possible. But always keep that seed phrase private. Keep your private keys private. Um, I'm a big believer in um, holding on to all of your stuff. So my benefit of having it in Coinbase Wallet is I control my coins. If you have it in Binance or other exchanges that are centralized, including the regular Coinbase, then um, they actually have control of your coins. If something were to happen, well, who knows what could happen to your coins down the line. But um, I, I like having control of all the situation. So let's get into... The Razor app, which is what I think a lot of you guys might want to see after you buy your coins, you're going to connect them to, um, you're going to connect them, your, wherever your coins are held, whether it's in Coinbase Wallet or somewhere else, you're going to connect them through MetaMask and so that you can do things within here. When I click on Razor, you see options Razor and you have OCC panel. I'm actually going to take you to the OCC panel first. And as you can see, the site is very, very easy to use. I mean, it, it is a beautiful site. Usability is amazing. Uh, that's actually one of the things I really liked about this project and continue to follow it in the beginning before I knew more about it. So I'm going to um, connect my MetaMask here. As you can see, it shows zero balance, wallet balance zero, and stake balance. And you'll see some other things up here that say like Razor Rewards, Uniswap Liquidity Mining. Um, I'll get into those details. But first thing I'm going to do is connect my MetaMask. And I want to push this up here so people can't see some private stuff. And this is just going to make basically sign it. So you can see that was that wallet that on uh, my Coinbase wallet that where I get that 30 some dollars in ETH or something like that. And I'm going to click sign and it's going to connect it. So it's showing a total balance of 1,015.203 OCC coins. 
And you can also see that it says wallet balance of 1.3. And the reason why these are different right now is because I actually have 1,013.89 OCC staked on OCC or with, within the Occamfy panel. Um, so what does staking do for you? Um, there are some major benefits for staking with Occamfy and there are some limitations to it as well. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to cover both sides of it positives and the cons. Um, so what this does is you are going to get what they call razor rewards. And so my 1,013 stake balance is going to give me an annual percentage of 2.42 and what they call cast out redistribution. So what is cast out redistribution? So if I remove my stake, those 1,013, I will pay a 4% fee in cast out fees. That 4% fees is then distributed amongst everybody that is staked based on the number of coins that you have. If you've got more coins staked, you're gonna receive a little more in cast out fees. So my current cast out fee redistribution, I've earned 3.868 and that's actually available for claiming at any time. So I could claim and stake them right now if I wanted, or I could just claim them and put in my wallet if I wanted to sell them. Um, I will, of course, probably be claiming and staking because my goal is to eventually get the 10,000 OCC, and I'll tell you why here in a minute on that. You also have some things where you have CD awards. That's a benefit of staking. So I told, mentioned to you before that there will be multiple, multiple IDOs happening all the time on... Um, on Occamfy, and you can get involved in those other projects. Um, from what I know, they will be Cardano-based projects. So, you know, I guess it's possible that you could see some Ethereum-based or some others, but as far as I know, it's Cardano that they're really focusing on getting the best projects on Cardano to launch on their platform. Um, so, staking, let me cover this. Well, the CD, the way it's gonna work. So you, you can stake anywhere between 150 OCC on up. There's different levels. There's five tiers of levels of staking, and I will get into some of those here in a minute. But what this means is you have to stake a minimum of 150 in order to qualify for CD awards. To get into IDOs, you're going to have to pass the KYC, you know your customer. If you aren't familiar with that, it requires that you send in um, documents like um, photo ID, a bill in your name that is at, a, at your address, um, you holding up pictures of those and then they pass, you know, the kind of the background check type thing to make sure you are who you are and that you're in a uh, country that allows you to participate in the IDOs. Um, so these CEDs are a benefit for everybody, not just those people who can get into IDOs. So let's say you are in the United States, you can't get into the IDO, but you like Occam and you think it has a great potential and... Um, you want to collect these CEDs. So by staking at least a minimum of 150, you qualify for that and in return these IDOs that happen, you get free coins. And when I say free, yes, they will airdrop those to you. You will get a percentage of them. Real quickly, I want to show you how you saw my 1000 staked and I talked about card wallet launching. And so these are the different ones. You click on a card and you can see more details in relation to that IDO. Here are under details. There were 833,333 coins that were distributed through CED. So these were all coins going to people who held at least 150 coins. Whether you passed KYC, whether you participate in the IDO, doesn't matter. Oh, my CED just disappeared for some reason. But I think as you probably saw, I think it said 375 or something like that. Let's see if I can get it to pop back up. 375.84. So that's how many CID I got. Um, let's see if I can pull up here. Calculator. Okay. I don't want any freaking ads. That's just stupid. So when... Um, Card wallet launched, it launched at 0 0.09 cents, if I remember correctly, and I got 375 of them. So that came out to 
$33.75 of free coins. And you're probably like, wow, really? You know, you have a thousand of them and it's almost 10 bucks, so it's $10,000. But Card Wallet also at one point reached, I think it may have reached a dollar very close to it. I think right now it's about 70 cents. We can actually look. Yep, 70.7576. So, of course, my calculator disappeared. I don't understand why that's doing that, but let's, um, roughly, roughly what that's going to come out to is about, I believe 275 bucks, somewhere around there. I'm pretty happy with that for free. And I liked Card Wallet. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get into the IDO. And I'm going to explain some of that here when we talk about the staking again and um, getting into IDOs. But um, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to actually get... Oh, it's because my MetaMask didn't connect. I've got another computer connected. And so I'm guessing that's what happened. Okay, so I should be connected. That now you see the three seventy five. So, um, I yeah, I, I uh, was able to stake a thousand OCC that I had, and unfortunately, I did not get in to Card Wallet, and I was pretty disappointed in that. But that's the way it works. So let me tell you why. Um, I did get into Legity, which that was the reflection one that I talked about. Um, there's, so there's a tier system and if you can't see because it's kind of in small letters, I'm going to explain that to you a little bit. So with this tier system, there's five tiers, Everest, K2, Fuji, Elbrus, and Mont Blanc, all named after mountains. Um, you can see that those ranges of staking start at 150 and go all the way up to a minimum of 10,000. So my level was at 1,000, which gives my participation chance at a 20 to 40% chance of getting into this IDO. Um, if you were in K2 or Everest, you get guaranteed. So that means you get a guaranteed allocation, which for this IDO, your 10,000 OCC staked gave you um, IDO allocation of 0 0.20766E. So this would be what the only negative I would consider. And I've actually had discussions with the Occamfy team regarding this is I would like to see higher allocations, IDO allocations for the projects. Um, They're working on that. And I, from what I am hearing, we will continue to get more and more as they're encouraging these projects when they launch to add more to the system. I think that's a healthy thing to do. In my opinion, um, a healthy way of allocating is 2% of your total coins being offered at IDO. I think that puts an opportunity to where you are not going to see gigantic huge pump and dumps, um, but you will see nice returns and still give a lot of people a chance to get in. And some projects where um, they've only offered 0.2% of the total coins in allocation um, or in circulation to be allocated, I think that puts a bad taste in people's mouth because you're only allowing about 300 to 400 people in, and I'd like to see more people get in. Um, on your lowest level, if you're staking 150, your chances of getting in after passing KYC and whitelist is um, roughly 5 to 20%. Now, just because those participation chances are there does not mean you won't get in because what Occamfy does is they provide waves. So, for example, if your lottery ticket gets pulled during your whitelisting, you'll be putting put in um, allocation waves. And for uh, Everest and K2 levels or tiers, you are guaranteed, so there is no waves for that. Me being in Fuji, I believe there were nine waves, I think, in this last one and for Legity, and I got um, wave three. So wave one obviously has first chance. They have one hour to complete their transaction and buy their maximum allocation, which in this case was 0 0.077872 ETH. 
if within one hour there are still tokens left, it's not 100% sold out, it moves to wave two. Wave two has 30 minutes, and this proceeds through until the IDO is completely sold out. Um, the wave process has been implemented in the last couple IDOs with Card Wallet. I believe we got to... It ended right at the beginning of wave four. So there were a few people in wave four that got in and um, with Legity, it was out at wave three. Um, so it's really nice. But you can see on Legity's, they only raised 29.75 ETH. So it had a really, really small allocation. I know the one they have coming up, which I'm super excited about called Theos. Um, I suggest you look into this one. You can see there's about four times the total um, allocation that is being raised compared to what Legity was. Um, I don't remember what that percentage of circulation is, but I believe it's close to double what um, of a percentage of circulation versus what Legity was. It's still pretty low, but we're getting closer to where I would like to see them get to. So that kind of covers the main part of using Occam Phi. And so what I want to make sure make sure you do, do your own due diligence on this. Um, again, I'll put some links in the description for you to help you do that. Um, make sure and follow them on YouTube as well because they've got a what they can call Occam Phi TV. And that's going to have different interviews with these projects that are launching. And it's really, really good stuff. So I highly suggest you do that. Um, I will, uh, in the next video, probably cover what happened this last week within Occam. Occam Phi and um, maybe touch on, um, we've got a launch for Theos. The date on that's been announced for September 1st. So that's coming up on Monday, or not Monday. What is it? Is that Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. I can look here real quick and let you know. So registration, is it closed? No, registration is still open. So if you wanted to buy some OCC coins right now and try to get in, you, you you can stake them and then you're going to go through and you're going to register after you stake them and then you're going to have to complete the KYC. Don't worry if your KYC isn't back the first day. Sometimes it takes them a day, but um, you still have an opportunity to get in Theos and it's a big NFT project that I'm super excited about. And anybody that's in NFTs, highly suggest you take a look at it. Um, but again, Make sure to like the video, share it. I'd um, love to hear your comments. And if you have anything that you want me to cover with Occam Phi, and I'd, I'd be happy to address that. And um, here's to looking forward and hopefully an ambassadorship with Occam Phi going down the road. Thanks again.